Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my November favorites and disappointments. I have been absolutely loving these products and I think most of them are going to be some of my holy grails. I, I don't know what it is, this month I just discovered so many beautiful, beautiful products and I'm really excited to share them with you. Most of it, as always, is makeup but I have, have a new hair favorite that I really wanted to share. So before we get into the favorites, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So my first favorite, and you probably would have guessed it, is of course the New Melt Collection. This collection just reignited everything I love about makeup and more. I've never been so inspired by a collection. My favorites in this collection have definitely been the gel liners. These are so amazing to work with. They just go on like butter. They're very, very soft and thin. They're very versatile. You can lay one down as a base for eyeshadow or just wear it alone or use it for a really sharp eyeliner. And what's really amazing is that they dry down super, super matte. I really love the matte ones the most. I haven't really gotten to play with the blue one yet. This one does have a little bit of shimmer in it. The black one is amazing to smudge out or use as a really beautiful sharp liner. And I love to use these two all over the lid. It is so nice, but these I highly recommend to you. They are so stunning. And of course, I love the palettes. Now, these palettes, I don't know, they are just too beautiful. I love how they can go together, but they're so crazy different. I just love how complementary they are to each other. Um, I definitely love this one the most just because it's so, I don't know, just looking at this is so appealing to my eyes. I think just the shades they chose in here are so stunning and it's so cohesive and it just, you can see so much love throughout it. And it's just like, I think this collection is definitely the most beautiful curated collection that I've personally received or anything like that. I just, this collection has been a game changer for me. I love it. And Melt's shadow formulation is just unlike any other. It is, it is so amazing. They're so impactful without ever having any fallout or anything like that. And their shimmers are unlike anything else too. They are so crazy shimmery and so impactful and they just never fade or do anything weird. They're just so reliable and I don't know. This collection is just, I love it too much. Next I have a concealer favorite and this is the Lila B Virtuous Veil Concealer and I have the shade Be Bright. I have loved this concealer. It is so good. It has so much coverage but it doesn't feel heavy and it has such a beautiful finish to the under eye. It gives it like a luminous effect without being slippery feeling and also when your lashes touch it, it doesn't smudge or make any raccoon eyes which is really nice. I don't set this one, it's just like a, I just apply it with my ring finger and it's an easy fix. And I also like to cover up any problem areas I have with this one. It's just very easy and I've just loved this concealer. And obviously the packaging, the Lila Beak packaging just gets me every time. I think it's so fun that it just looks like little skipping stones. It brings me back to when I was little and at the riverbed with my dad and we'd skip rocks. I never, I never could skip a rock. I don't know what it is. I never, I never could do it, but I, I would watch my dad do it. I, I don't know, still to this day, don't know how to skip a rock. <laughs> Love that concealer. I've used it so many times in my videos and I don't know, it's really, really stunning. Next, I have a highlighter I've been loving so, so much. It's the Nabla, this has a really long name, I can never remember it. It's the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder, and I love the shade Amnesia. I just love the way it looks on camera as well. I think it's just so cool. I love the design that they pressed this in. I don't know, it's really stunning. It is a very good dupe for the Amreezy highlighter if you're looking for one, because I know that one comes in and out of stock real quick. And it's like limited edition, but it keeps coming back. But this one's a part of their permanent line, so it's a little bit more reliable. And I I prefer this formula to the Amreezy one. It's not as chalky. It's truly like a glass skin look once it's on the cheeks. And it is a little bit more on the intense side, so if you like more of a sheer one, I wouldn't recommend this one. But if you really want that glow, but no glitter or anything, just a really intense sheen, this one is great. And yeah. I just really like this one. Next I have some blushes that I've been loving and probably guessed it. These are the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. I love these things so, so much. And my two favorite shades are Cinnamon and Nectar. 
The shade Pinched is a little bit too close to my skin tone. It's very subtle on my tone, but it's nice to wear if I'm not wearing any foundation and I just am going to the grocery store or something like that. I'll throw that on to look a little bit more lively. I really love the formula of these. They're really easy to work with, super easy to blend with a finger or a brush. I prefer applying it with a finger just so that it melts into the rest of the products I have on my face and it looks like it's coming from within. They are, I would say, a pretty good dupe to the Glossier Cloud Paints. They're just a little bit more balmy. They're just a balmier texture. The Glossier Cloud Paints kind of dry down because they're water-based, but yeah, it's just a little bit more slippy feeling. And I like the packaging a lot more than the Glossier Cloud Paints because it has this little applicator here that you can see the product coming out and moving through it so you don't waste a bunch of stuff a bunch of product. I want to get all of the shades in these. I love, love, love them. Next I have another eyeshadow palette and this is the Persona Identity 2 palette. There's some kind of magic in this eyeshadow formula because it is so creamy and easy to work with. They just like basically blend themselves out. Uh, in this palette I love the more boring everyday neutrals but they're so good and I don't know. I just really love the effect of these and the shimmers. Here, I'll swatch a few of the shimmers. I do have a video using this on the eyes. I used it not too long ago. These, that impact. It's such an impactful formula for shimmers. They don't have glitter in them. They're just like a really intense sheen, so it almost looks glossy on the eyes. Very editorial looking. I highly recommend this eyeshadow formula. It is so beautiful. They killed it. Continuing with Persona, the glosses. Oh my goodness. These are my two favorite shades. Peach and Honey. Oh my goodness. Peach is like the perfect nude gloss. It's so reflective and, and peach is just a nice summery one. It just, this gloss formula is so beautiful. It just, it's not sticky whatsoever. It smoothens out all the lip lines and just makes you look very pouty and plumped. And it's just everything I want in a gloss. They both have a little bit of shimmer in there. The formula kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty one, but more gel-like and feels more like a water gel. I don't know how to describe it, but I just really love these glosses. I definitely like these more than the Fenty ones now. I don't know what it is about it. I think maybe because the smell isn't as strong. It smells so good. It smells like... I can't even put my finger on it. It just smells a little bit more fruity and less scented, which is a plus because I'm very sensitive to scents and if it's right under my nose, then I kind of get headaches real quick. And continuing with the lips, I've discovered these ones from Guerlain. My favorite one is 307 Nude Flirt. This has been my everyday go-to nude. This one pretty much always lives in my purse from now on. It's just such a stunning formula. It has a really nice finish to it. Um, it really makes your lips look plump. Here, I'll swatch a few other shades. This is the shade 306, a little bit more pinky peachy. This is 308, which is a little bit more of a pink. And then this one is 309. I believe they have other shades, but I only have these four. And there's 309, which is more of like a cool tone pink. But yeah, this one has been my go-to. It kind of suits every look I wear on an everyday basis. And the formula is so nice. Even with this dry climate right now, it is, it's been like minus 10 or 15 all week. And my lips have been suffering. The, the dry lips have been back and I can't stop biting them. Even with such textured lips, and when I put these on, it just like smoothens it all out and makes it look a lot better, a lot more attractive. And my hair favorite, I guess it's kind of a duo, but it's the Oribe, Oribe, Oribe? I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I'm sorry if I butchered it. It's the shampoo and conditioner for moisture and control. This has been my favorite shampoo and conditioner I think I've ever tried. It is so good. It definitely replaced my Olaplex one. The Olaplex, once I had my hair dyed, dark brown um, and my hair is just a lot more healthier now. It just was a little bit heavy for my hair. I would get greasy really quickly. The thing I loved the most about the Olaplex one is how hydrated and clean it made my hair feel and it did bubble up a lot. Um, but this does the exact same thing even more. Like when you're washing your hair with the shampoo, it's incredible. It feels almost like a conditioner, but it foams up so much and it feels like you're getting the best deep clean. It's it's an awesome shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner is very, very hydrating. It just makes my hair so shiny as well. And the tiniest bit of this goes such a long way. This stuff is incredible. These both smell so amazing and I'm able to go 
four to five days without washing my hair with this one. I think that's so much better because it's a lot more healthy for your hair. And yeah, it just, I don't know. I've completely fallen in love with these. And plus the packaging. Can we talk about that for a second? It makes me feel like I should be living in a castle in like Ireland or something. Like gold writing in the green and just the logo. It's just so beautiful. I have a special runner up because I think it's being discontinued and it's really, really hard to find. It's the Flower Beauty Bubble Brow. I just wanted to put this in here because if you're out and about and you see it, just grab it. You won't regret it. It is such a good eyebrow wax. Makes your eyebrows look so editorial. I have it on my brows today. This has been by far one of my favorite brow products I've ever tried, which I'm really, really sad that she's discontinuing it. If you're Canadian, they still have it on well.ca, just the darker color like this one. Uh, I don't know why she would discontinue such an amazing, innovative product especially with the movement of really softened makeup and really harsh brows. I don't know why. Maybe she's reformulating? We can have our fingers crossed. I really hope to see it come back. I've had a lot of DMs saying that they found it at Ulta and there's only like five left. I would definitely check out your local Ulta if you are from the States. And that is all my favorites of the month. And I have two disappointments. So the first one is from Flower Beauty and it's the Beauty Flash Full Face Palette. I was so sad. I was hoping this was gonna be awesome because it's such a great thing to have a palette with so many things. First of all, the first thing, the first time I opened it, the packaging like completely fell apart. These, the powders are really not the best. Um, Flower Beauty, she definitely rocks it on the cream formulations and the foundations and concealers and things like that but for her powders, I think they need improvement. They're a little bit chalky feeling. They're not up to par with where most powder products are now. So I think they need to, uh, to be updated. And the shimmers in here are just, they just faded on me. The colors don't really look good together. This one was really orangey and this one's really cool tone, kind of neutral, I don't know. Just all of it just didn't really make sense. It looks like it's gonna be amazing, but once the, it's on the face, it's not good. And the second one was the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And I was very, very disappointed in this because when they put this on their Instagram, I almost flipped my lid. I was really, really excited. And I'm a huge fan of skin tints, I love I, I love the Nude Sticks one, the Glossier one, MAC one. I've loved so many in the past and I had really high hopes for this because it's affordable and it's widely available to a lot of people. Um, but sadly, I tried this a few more times after my first impression video of this where I really struggled. <laughs> I could not get this one to work no matter what I did. I used my hands, I used the sponge it came with, I used brushes, different bases. It's just, it's not for me. But those are all the products I absolutely loved or I was disappointed in. I would love to know in the comments down below what products you have fallen in love with this past month or products that have disappointed you. I would love to start that discussion in the comments down below. But that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so much. And I'll make sure to list all the products I mentioned in today's video in the description. And before I go, I would love for you to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.